installment number four of Beauty Brand Superstars is coming at you right now. Hello friends, this is part four of my Beauty Brand Superstars where I go over a drugstore brand two or three and go through the very best, the cream of the crop, the ride or die, the never fail, the must haves of that brand to take the guesswork out of it for you when you do your shopping. And today I'm going to be bringing you Physicians Formula and ELF. And I don't have a lot of Physicians Formula, but boy do I have a lot of ELF. So we're going to get into this immediately because I don't want it to be too long of a video for you and we're going to start off with the physician's formula first of all let me tell you that yes i'm in my bed today my back is killing me and so that's why my bed is up and i'm not kind of sitting straight up just so you know i'm kind of just filming as i can today so i'm going to start out with the physician's for me formula healthy foundation this one has an spf in it and let me tell you what my color is by the way the spf is 20 and it says brightening complex in it and my color i believe is fn3 so it's fair neutral three it is a little bit light for me this is a delivery system that has a doe foot applicator and when i was complaining about this one time one of you said we well, use a doe foot applicator on your concealer what's wrong with it on a foundation and it's true it is a little bit harder to get to the bottom and you know use every bit but you can always take that stopper out and then get it with a q-tip or something a little longer if you need to to get your very last drop out of there beautiful foundation that lays on mature skin so pretty it is long lasting and long wearing and doesn't show up any texture for me it really is like a medium to full coverage very buildable but if you're looking for something that is very sheer this is probably not it and this is somewhere between a matte and a satin so it's not a dewy foundation it's not a foundation that's going to keep you terribly matte but you are going to get a very smooth application out of it. So this is one that I've loved for a long time and no, this isn't gone out of stock yet. I know that it is a little bit harder to find for some people, but it's still in stock at lots of Walmarts. My Walmart has the full range of it still, and you can still get this on Amazon no problem. So this is a foundation that I've loved for a really long time, but if you're thinking that it won't ever go out of stock, you might want to get a couple of backups because I believe that they eventually will discontinue this because they kind of have been leaning that way. But I think people were like, wait a minute, that's the best foundation in your line. And so they were wanting to keep it around. So this is an excellent foundation. If you've been thinking about trying it, it's really good for mature skin. The next one is the obvious. This is the butter bronzer. This is my second Second one that I have had it does have a little bit of a suntan lotion smell to it it has that coconutty smell to it which I think is great this one is the original bronzer color they have a light they have a dark and then they have a glowy one this is I'll just a tiny there goes the little applicator <laughs> this is just a little tiny bit probably more on the warm side than a lot of my cool gals will like but just know that as you're coming up onto summer if you're faux tanning you know if you're doing the fake and bake or anything like that this is a really good color for a tan for you so i like this because of its consistency it is very buttery it's very creamy and i really do like that it goes on without being patchy so as you're swirling it or you know buffing it on you really do get an even application of it and it can be used as just your blush in the summer when you do have that fake tan so i really like it and then they also have the butter blush yeah. and i can't remember what the mauve is called exact saucy mauve and i love this one because it has just a tiny bit of luminosity in it it is one that just gives you a little bit of life it doesn't look like it's too rosy and it doesn't look like it's too peachy so you have that right in between color and it's just real pretty i really like that and ollie is going to be in and out because when i recline like this and i'm talking like this he just thinks that it's playtime he has no idea what mommy's doing so this is a beautiful color they do have several other colors this one was just one that i picked up at walmart and i really really love it again that same beautiful texture the same little bit of a fragrance 
I know that lots of people don't like that fragrance, but it doesn't bother me too much. I think if it were in the foundation, it would bother me more. But I like that little tiny bit of a luminosity you get from it as well. I also really, really like this stick bronzer from them. This one is the Sculpting Bronzer, and it is their organic wear. And I have no idea what color it is because it's not showing up there very well. So this color is, it is the deeper one of the two. I think there's two of them and a lot of people can use this for their contour i can't it's just a little bit too warm for me so i put it on a buffer brush or a stipple brush and i just use it as my bronzer it's a cream product so it goes on really smoothly and it blends out really smoothly as well and make sure that you work with it kind of fast because once it does lay down it will be there all day and you can see how i'm kind of just buffing it out buffing it out and so you could have this to be quite deep if you needed to if you're a deep skinned girl and if you needed it to be lighter you could also get it to be quite a bit lighter so this is a great product for somebody that loves cream products it's a really good product and then another product that i love is the physician's formula this one is is the booster eye boosters this is the liner and i love how this liner is such a fine tip and i love that it's waterproof now i will say that one of the things that i'm not super happy about this is that if i store it upside down it will get a little too moist on that tip and it drips out a little bit and you'll have to wipe it off first but if i store it like this it's no problem so just keep that in mind and this is one that lasts on your eyes and is so good on your eyes because it is that waterproof formula and for me to be able to get that straight line really close onto the water line actually it's just above the water line on my lash line i go as close as i can to my lashes and then get that line really close it just lasts all day and it's there and i don't have any trouble with it you know skipping or pulling or anything like that i really like that one now that is it for physicians formula now we're going to go on to elf and this is where we get into a lot of products hasn't been very long ago when i talked about elf's brushes they have the pro brushes that are so good I use both of the, well, I use all three of these brushes every day. This one is the small stipple brush. I use this one for my um, contour almost every day to stipple out my contour all around my hairline, my jawline, and to carve out those cheekbones. I use this one for a foundation brush. It is angled and then it's very dense and it buffs in the foundation really well. Um, this is a dupe for a BK Beauty foundation brush that I adore. And then this one is the very, very fluffy powder brush. This is a huge powder brush brush. It is very much like the It Cosmetics big mega powder brush that they sell for Ulta. And this one is so great for buffing out powder and being able to just really buff it in. You don't have to use a lot if you don't want to, but it buffs really great and it's so soft. I love the, these pro brushes for how soft they are. And I don't know why he thinks he's got a stand on me, but he does. I have three of the new Halo powders. This is a micro fine powder that is a dupe for the Hourglass Veil powder. And the, I love that this comes in three different shades. My favorite one is this pink one right here. And it's so brightening on my skin. And I just love of how light and airy and it just feels so micro fine and soft and using a tiny bit of it you can absolutely use it if you're a mature woman i don't use a ton of powder but when i do i love using a powder like this because of it being so micro fine it doesn't really make me look dry or cakey and you don't have to use a lot of it you just use a very very small amount and this is just so soft and so pretty on the skin and it just blurs so well also, one of actually my ride or die products is their poreless putty primer. I have talked about this over and over again on my channel. Everything that I have here today, I'm wearing a lot of. Like I am wearing that pink powder underneath my foundation. I am using this primer as my primer today. This has such a soft feel to it. You definitely can feel the dimethicone in it, which is the silicone that fills in large pores. Um, make sure that you're pressing 
anytime you're using a silicone or a dimethicone primer and you have large pores make sure you're using a pressing motion and then lightly go over it to rub it in because that pressing motion is going to take that putty or that primer into the pores instead of having it just go across them and you're left with what looks almost like chicken skin type stuff so make sure you're pressing and you'll get a much better result out of this this again is a dupe for the tatcha silky canvas primer love that stuff too it has lots of really good skin ingredients in it but for a fraction of the cost you're getting the look of that that primer and you're getting the same results as this smoothing and so beautiful now as far as those putty products go they do also have their putty blush which i think is just such a hit it is the same consistency as the putty is but you get the blush color out of it and these colors are very very vibrant and they're very beautiful I can't even see those colors with my glasses on so I'll make sure that I throw them up on the screen This one is a little bit more muted than that last one So this one has like a pinky peach color to it. So it has the two together But they have a bunch of colors. They have some deeper ones and then they have some of these um, Lighter ones that you can deepen up if you just use them in layers. I really love these. They're beautiful cream blushes um, I've liked them ever since they came out love the consistency of them they're not too thin that they're going to wipe away they're not too thick that they're going to make you look like you have any sort of texture they're just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous cream blushes and i would highly recommend those and i also adore the primer infused um bronzer and their blushes they're so good i really like them the bronzer is again just a little bit too warm for me but i am wearing it today and it worked really well with this look that i did it is just a tiny bit warm so it doesn't have any of the rows that I usually like if I layer those under one of these blushes let's see this first one is always breezy and it is more along the lines of a neutral shade so pretty I think these blushes are just great whoa look at the pigment in that isn't that great I love the pigment of them they just are so pretty and again very creamy very beautiful colors this one is this is so hard for me to to see always rosy really like these I think that they're just great great blushes they're so pretty on your skin they're gonna buff out they're gonna show up such pretty pigment and you're gonna really love them and then also, we have their white gold. This is their highlighter. This one you need so very little of. This shows up a really lot of beam on it. But at the same time, it's going to not show up texture. It's just really pretty. I do have it on my cheeks today as my highlighter. I just think it's one of those ones that is a great color for somebody that's lighter. But at the same time, you're going to be able to build it up to be, you know, as much of a high beam as you would like it to be. So I really love these products. I think each of them are about six or eight dollars. And I think they did such a great job on those primer infused products. They're really good. So I know everybody has talked about over and over again, these bite size shadows. And if any of you have been thinking about getting them, something has caught your eye in one of these where you think you might like to try them, go ahead and try them because they really truly are that good. They're a beautiful quality that stays around for a very long time. They blend so well. They are like a super high end shadow that costs three bucks for a little palette. It's just so good i love using all of these that i have i loved the new mint ones out of the mint collection this spring they just are so pretty they have the green colors in them and then they also have the um, neutral colors in them that i love as well great pigment out of these but the blendability is there as well and i just think they are so so pretty i can't wait for them to come out with more of these different colors i wish they'd come out with an all very very purple one i would love that and then if you've been thinking about these new 18 pan palettes these are fantastic my favorite is the new classics and it is what i'm wearing today the new classics has a gamut of like mauve colors taupe colors warm colors neutral colors a little bit of pops of colors like this is a celadon green that can go on the eyelid i think is so pretty so you've got a couple of olives you've got that matte black you've got a matte um, cream color that you can help that helps you blend out 
these are so buttery and so pretty and I love them. So if you like that and then you like just a little pop of color, this one is called Earth and Ocean. So you have the cool tones on this side and then the warm tones on this side. These two together just make up such a beautiful palette as far as, you know, I want to put a splash of color into my neutrals. They're just gorgeous together or, you know, you can do countless amounts of looks on their own. Great blendability and for the price, I just think that you're getting such good, good shadows and yeah, I love e.l.f.'s shadows. For years and years, I've been using these two brow products. This is the Brow Pomade Pencil, which I absolutely love. I think it's called Pomade Instant Lift Brow Pencil not called pomade. I love this. I think it's such a good pencil. It lasts on the brow. You can get in there and do some micro fine strokes. You have a spoolie on this end and it, I really love it. Two bucks. You can't beat it. And then the wow brow. The wow brow has a teeny tiny spoolie with little fibers on it that catch the own hair that you have on your eyebrows and you're able to make them more voluminous. Between these two products, the one that sets and gives you more volume with the fibers and then this one that defines with the pencil, I love these. And I don't need to go spend, you know, $50, $60 on two brow products because e.l.f. has these and they knock it out of the park for me also love from them their h2o waterproof pen again this is a lot like the physician's formula i between the two i think the physician's formula is just a little bit finer tip at the end but i like them both i reach for them both at different times this one is probably a little bit more on the matte side so you know that than the physician's formula. So if you're somebody that really likes that matte look, this is probably a little bit better for you. But as far as staying power goes for a felt tip liner pen, they both are about the same because they both have that waterproof property. And I don't find that either of them smudge through the day. So I really love those. And then if you've been thinking about trying this e.l.f. liquid liner, go ahead and try it because it's really good. I love this particular color. It's so brightening and so pretty and so glossy across the eye. This is moon something and of course because it's teeny tiny I can't tell you what color it is but there it is right there and it's just a beautiful color that lasts all day on your lid. These are so brightening to them and they don't show up any texture and they really set down well and they don't feel super dry on your eye like some eye liquid eyeshadows can so that's why I really like it. This is probably my favorite color too and again I'll make sure I throw that up on the screen for you and i also really love their hydrating camo concealer i don't like the original but, but this hydrating one is super good and i love it and i have heard people say that they don't like these because they feel like they're too dry or too cakey my thing with when i first started using this one is i didn't like it either i thought this is going to be just like the regular camo tart shape tape it's going to be way too dry for my mature under eyes but i found that i was using too much so i use the teeniest amount. I mean, I will like put a little dot on my finger. I don't even dot it on my eyes uh, out of the doe foot applicator, which is huge, by the way. I don't think that I would ever do that with that big of a one. You know, go ahead and dot it onto your eyes. You just get too much. So I will dot it a tiny bit onto my finger and then I'll put it together like this. And I find that there'll still be too much. So I will use one finger to dot to both eyes and then blend it out. And I still have too much on this finger. So I'm wiping that away. But I think that that was the key to making this work and loving it so much was that I was using too much, but when I used a very, very, very teeny amount, it covered so well and it, it just really didn't have any caking, creasing, anything like that. I do have a tutorial about no caking um, concealer with this. So I'll make sure that I link that for you below. And then the last product, but definitely not the least, is a new mascara that came from, from out from them. I'm getting tongue tied called lash it loud. I love this mascara and if you can see my eyelashes today 
it does a beautiful job on eyelashes. This is a synthetic brush. It is the plastic wand brush. And I love the shape of it because I can get into the little hairs that are in there in the inner corner of the eye. And this just builds up so beautifully. Volume, length, dr drama in my eyes. Holds my curl all day long. This is a gorgeous mascara. This one and the one from Essence, I have been talking about all so far this year. These are my two that I absolutely adore. They are just great, great mascaras, and both of them are just so special. Let me mention before we go this. This is the e.l.f. Camo Cream, CC Cream. I don't like this that much. It's too thick for me. It's just much too much as far as showing up texture and going into my lines and wrinkles and settling, It's and it's too thick. And I have found that if I thin it way out with something else, then it's okay. I am going to be comparing 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 cc creams very quickly a bunch of them and this will go into that lineup but i wanted to tell you that this isn't the greatest thing for me just so you know because i knew i would have a few of you ask about that so that's it for today's video i hope that you're still enjoying this series this is number four we have a few more to go i have a few more brands to go this has been a lot of fun for me because this gets to showcase what i love the most which is drugstore and affordable and if there are anything in the elf line or anything that is in the Physicians Formula line that you absolutely adore, please let me know that in the comment section so that I can go ahead and try that out. Thanks so much for being patient about me leaning back a little bit today and taking care of my back a little bit. Uh, yes, I'm still struggling, but I'm still trying to make content for you guys. So I love you very much. Please take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends. <music>